Hello everybody. Okay, so I wanted to show you what has been happening here on the bench and uh, what I'll be doing uh, in the future. <clears throat> As some of you know, I have also been working on the Queen Elizabeth II and it has currently been put aside for quite a while as I was waiting on the custom decking to be made for it. Um, I heard back from my laser guy, uh, Vance, over at Salt Lake City Laser Etch, that it was finished up on Sunday. <clears throat> so I went in today to pick it up, and this decking came out better than I could have hoped for. It looks really good. <clears throat> um, I used mahogany wood instead of the normal teak because mahogany has much finer grains to it and when he put it on his laser and cut it out it looks like it'd be actual decking whereas if I did use the traditional teak then when I cut it out it would look like I took a scale size piece of wood to us and put lines in it. It would not look right. Um, <clears throat> so I decided to do it in mahogany because it's about as close as I could get to teak with having very little grain and it looks really good it looks like an actual deck <coughs> so I wanted to show you guys what I'll be doing on that and uh, currently what I will be doing is I was working on the enterprise enterprise while I was waiting on this decking to be finished now that the decking is finished I will set the enterprise aside for a little while and I'm gonna finish up this ship it should just take me a few weeks because most of the light blocking, most of the modification is all done. Um, so it should not take oh, terribly long. I will paint it, assemble it, and then I will put the decking on after it's all assembled. Because that should be the last thing. It's a very delicate process. And um, the last thing I want to do is get a piece of paint on the wood. <clears throat> so I'll pull it in close so you guys can see what it looks like. So just one second. Okay, so this is what the decking looks like for the QE2. Now, as you can see, this piece right here is just sitting in there. This is just sitting in there because this stuff is such a fine cut that it fits. It's just a hair too big, which is exactly where I wanted it. So as you can see on this, getting close, you can see little lines running parallel. There we go. See a little better there, little lines. Now, as you can see on the camera, you can still see some grain in the wood. Uh, but it looks kind of natural, you know, it looks like, so right there it looks a little lighter and a little darker there. <clears throat> it, it has a much more natural look, whereas if I would have used teak, this section right here specifically, it would have been this huge grain coming around. It would not have looked very good at all. So, um, I also got the helicopter <clears throat> pad lasered in there. And now here are the back portions. Uh, got lasered around all of the pools and all the front sections <clears throat> so it it looks really good I'm really pleased with it this section as you can see these are where the holes are for the lifeboats so after um, or before I attach this section to the hull I will go through and drill the holes for the um, life rafts but all right guys I just wanted to show you that and also show you uh, refresh you that it will have figures, little extra added, extra added parts, as well as this right here, which is railing. The whole ship around the whole thing is going to be lined with railing. So that railing will very probably be the very last thing that I put on it, as it'll be the most delicate, and some of the rail railing needs to sit on top of the wood. So it will be a little bit of a delicate process, but I think in the long run, it's going to look really good. I mean, the, the camera washes the lines out a little bit, but in person it looks really, really good. I am extremely pleased with this, and I'm really excited to see how it looks. <clears throat> but alright guys, I just wanted to give you a look-see at it, show you this is what I'll be working on the next few weeks to get it finished up and sent off. It's been a fun build and time to finish her up. Alright guys, well I hope you've been enjoying the build. If you have any questions, let me know.